Naman Ahuja, we're talking today about how young girls feel pressure to conform to the ideal body type, the perfect body. But hasn't the idea of a perfect body kept changing over time? There's never been one constant for the perfect body, has there? Yes, that's true. There's never been one constant way of thinking about what was the perfect body. The perfect body actually came up in so many different forms. But as far as I've seen in terms of the visual evidence throughout the history of Indian art, each age has created its own ideal body type, which was quite unattainable, which was beyond the mundane and everyday. They set standards which were difficult to achieve, to represent in the visual culture, to act as the ideal. So when the advertising industry today is creating a aesthetic ideal, which is unreal, don't imagine that historical ideals were approachable and real. Um, the ladies across the temples of Khajuraho are buxom, broad-hipped, but very narrow-waisted. Um, the ladies in Chola sculpture are aquiline and slim, and sometimes their waists can be, and thighs can be so impossibly narrow, and yet they can be shown being equally buxom body. Um, you can have a situation where uh, the same is true in Mathura sculpture. Uh, in Gandhara sculpture, we come across an, an equally interesting problem with the male body. Uh, you know, you're asking about the female body being uh, expected to live up to certain standards. The same was true for, fe for male bodies. Mm. But I think what is quite nice to see is that our gods don't come in any one format. So the great god like uh, Vishnu turns into an avatar like Vaman, the dwarf. So the dwarf body becomes something that we worship. We have other dwarves, pot-bellied deities like Kuber or Ganesh. Amongst the divine mothers, um, the perfect female Saptamatrikas, you have Indrani and Brahmani who can be fair and tall and beautiful, but you can also have Kali and Chamunda. Mm -hmm. um, and they form an aesthetic package. And each is considered equally important. So I think there are different ways of looking at this. Um, but at the same time, I think we have to be aware that every age has created impossible aesthetic ideals. 